The second annual churchmilitant.tv Retreat at Sea is coming up in January. This year's theme is about the Catholic Restoration and what you can do to get involved. Click the link for more details. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. One week ago, the U.S. Department announced the creation of a new office for engagement with faith-based communities, addressing the concern that the United States is too far removed from the importance of religion. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry talked with world leaders about the global impact of religion and afterwards decided that the time has come to do more than, quote, just to talk about a better dialogue, I think we have to stand up and deliver one, end quote. California is now the fifth state to allow self-identifying transgender children to use opposite biological sex bathrooms, locker rooms, and changing rooms. Governor Gary Brown signed the bill into law after a preceded settlement won by a young girl who was given permission to use the boys' facility. She felt she was a boy trapped in a girl's body. The new law affects more than 6.2 million K-12 students in the state. Pope Francis has announced he will consecrate the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary at the Vatican on October 13th. Our Holy Father will perform the consecration next to the statue of Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, which will be brought to Rome from Fatima for the occasion. The Marian Day will be promoted by the Pontifical Council for the promotion of the new evangelization. The Bishops' Conference of Colombia has announced that the capital city of Bogota will be the site of the Third World Apostolic Congress on Divine Mercy. Bishop Julio Hernando Garcia said the Congress will be, quote, a platform for healing the wounds of the conflict that has shaken the country for more than 60 years. The Congress will be from August 15th through the 19th of 2014. About 18 Brazilian bishops have decided to break the silence and speak up against the recently approved bill that legalizes abortion in Brazil. Led by Rio de Janeiro Archbishop Irani Tempesta, the bishops wrote a public letter addressed to government officials expressing their, quote, deep concern with the new law and its attempt against innocent defenseless lives in the womb, end quote. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the logical existence of hell. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.